As an eighth grader, she played on varsity, and it was the second game of the year, and she went eight for nine from three, essentially won the game for us. At that point, people were saying, this is probably the best player in the state right now. Uh, I started taking basketball seriously when I was like five years old. Um, I played all the sports like soccer, baseball, softball, but basketball is just the one that stood out to me and the one I was best at, so I just continued that path. She wants to make everybody around her better players. She's a leader by example in terms of how hard she works. She's just got it. One, two, three. Big step. 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 Retreat. Retreat. Close out. Close out. Like, I think it was like maybe two summers ago, I had like 8,000 followers and I was like, I can't wait to get to 10K. Like, I want the K next to my name. But <laughs> now I have like 337,000 followers and yeah, the blue verified check mark. Kyrie's my favorite player. And like when I think I was here at the high school and I refreshed my page and it said Kyrie started following me. I refreshed it like 50 more times just to make sure it was real. If 41 guards you, this is how I anticipate her guarding you. Just soft. Look at she's stepping back. She just doesn't want to get beat off the dribble. Meaning that we should be able to put her in a ball screen pretty easily. Yeah, because she because she locked me up last yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> no, really it's like talk since I'm awesome. Paige averaging like 24 points, and then they Paige had 22 and like 18 assists, and talking about some Mia held her above, uh, below her average. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> you need to look at the stat line first of all. Family on three, one, two, three. Family. Family. She never starts a trash talk. If you talk to her, she's gonna talk back. And so this girl, I don't know why, but she decided to talk trash to Paige. Our point guard was zooming down the floor, and Paige's on the way, and she said. I'm about to come off the screen. I'm either gonna hit the three on your face or I'm gonna pass it to Najee when she comes off the screen. And then she comes off the screen, she hits it right in her face. She said, like, what I tell you, like, it's so funny like to see her like be able to back up her talking. Since I've committed, I've just had a lot of weight off my shoulders and I've really just tried to enjoy it and spend the last year with my girls as fun as I could. But I try not to think about leaving my brother and my family, my teammates and my coaches because every time I do, I start to cry. So I'm just trying to enjoy it here. But yeah, Drew, that's like my best friend, yeah. <laughs> my name is Drew, and I'm Paige's younger brother. When Paige gets home from practice, it's like, hey, Drew, and they give each other a big hug, and they like to hang out. You know, before every game, they do their handshake, or, you know, if Drew isn't at a game for some reason or something, Paige just kind of freaks out a little bit, like, where's Drew? Why isn't Drew here? Yeah, we have a lot of goals. We want the section championship, state championship, and if we get the opportunity, we want to go to Geico Nationals. So that would mean we have to go undefeated again. We went undefeated last year, so yeah, we have pretty big goals. I think what's special about Paige is her passing. You know, she's not the biggest, she's not the strongest, she's not the fastest, but what she is is she's just so innate about her game. Getting a no look pass from Paige, it's like, at first, when I was younger, I struggled with that. Like, it was kind of frustrating because it's like, she's up in the middle of her jump shot and then she just chucks it at you. I'm like, what? Like, shoot the ball. Like, you're the best player on the floor, just shoot it. Oh uh, yeah, I always ask about my assists and my turnovers, like the assist to turnover ratio. That's what I'm worried about. At the end of games, like, we have a coach that keeps stats and I always ask him after the game what that looks like. Our coach would be like, on film, like, shoot the ball. She's like, okay. And then she'll look at us and be like, I'm going to keep passing it to you. <laughs> She could score on any play she wants to, every possession, but she chooses to like make her teammates better too. I'm not really like a big individual accolade type of person. I've always just cared about winning and being the best teammate. My goal for myself was just to enjoy my senior year and go out on top. Yeah, being a girl dad is uh, is amazing. Uh, um, I still remember um, Paige and I were sitting on the couch and she was probably, probably about Drew's age, probably around seven and uh, we were watching Kobe play. And I can't remember if I said it or if the announcer said it, and we're like, man, Kobe Bryant is so clutch. And she's like, Dad, what does clutch mean? Um, yes. Go get icy. So that was a tough day for both of us, seeing the love and passion that Gigi and Kobe shared together. Um, really hit home. I was gonna meet them this summer. He really likes UConn, and he, he's worked out with a lot of the UConn girls, so I was gonna go out there this summer and do that. Mama mentality means uh, living life with no fear. It's not caring how many doubters, no, not caring how many times you have to do something in order to do it right. 
I think the heckling thing is kind of fun. Like, it makes the game fun. I just think it's part of the game. I mean, people are projecting her to, uh, you know, play for UConn since she was in, like, third or fourth grade. And then, you know, through the years, they just have been extremely good about uh, developing a relationship with her. Um, that's probably the, the biggest reason. There's no other head coach that's come to as many games as Coach Gino has. What makes UConn a great fit for anyone is Coach Ariyama. He's that good. Getting under the wing of Coach Gino, I mean, I think he's the greatest coach of all time, and he just knows so much about the game, and I, I think he, when I go there, he's gonna maximize my talents and get the best out of me. She has definitely things that she wants to improve on to help progress in her game to the, to the next level, and she feels that, um, and I think we all feel that that's the best place for her to really be pushed. I would say my motivation is just knowing that I'm not at my full potential yet and I'm just in high school and I want to keep going in college and the pros and I want to just keep playing basketball and keep getting better and never get complacent with where I'm at right now. Paige, good luck in college. We'll cheer for you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Peggy, come on. All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank see you guys you for coming. Yeah.